What is going on everybody? My name is Jacob and welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for clicking on this video and I welcome you into my house, into my home and into my, into my life. Um, I don't particularly know what I'm going to call this series, but what I do know is that I need something like this to to keep my motivation high, keep it flowing. It's pretty high at the moment, but I know that if I'm going to be sharing stuff with, with the world and with YouTube and with my subscribers, that it's going to make it all the more better when things do work out. So, uh, yeah, thank you again. I've tried, I've tried series before. My, my channel is fitness related, but I've got more to offer, man. I have more to offer. I have more things up in here that I want to tell you guys than just fitness related stuff. All right. So if this is, if you, if you're new to the channel and you're not one of my previous subscribers, then uh, welcome. Um, my name's Jacob McDonald and I'm living in Alice Springs in central Australia right now. I'm from New Zealand. I've been in Australia for six years now. Fuck, fuck it flies. I'll tell you what, six years. I came over here at the age of 19 with absolutely nothing. In fact, I'd just been fucked over back in New Zealand. I'd sold a car that I had a debt on to a friend. And I'll tell you what, never mix business and friends together. Don't do it. Long story short, he never paid me. I came over here with debt up to my eyeballs at age 19. Um, I'd started a university degree, which I dropped out of, which in hindsight was the best thing I ever did because I knew in that, that those first three months that university was not going to be for me. You know, I was a straight A student at school, but man, a university degree was not going to get me to the place that I needed to get. So um, I've always had this inkling in my head that I would be successful. I mean, I wasn't going to stop until I fucking made it, you know what I mean? So as far as my physique goes, um, I put those principles into action with that early on. And, um, you know, I've been consistently training. Um, my diet's been on point for probably the last three to four years. And I've made some good gains. Um, completely natural, and I'm proud of it. But I don't go and enter that half natty, full natty, fake natty debate anymore because it's, there's no, it's, it's not worth it. Um, you know, if I really wanted some, some views on YouTube, I'd, I'd start calling people out and saying they're fake natty. But at the end of the day, guys, I'm a believer, man. I am a believer. If you tell me you're natural, fuck it, you might be. I've seen guys that are 250 pounds that have never lifted a fucking weight in their life. Now, if they cut, if they actually dieted for once and cut down, they'd look like a fucking bodybuilder and they've never trained in their entire lives. So how can you guys say that someone is not natural when there's genetic freaks out there? It's just the way it is, guys. It's just the way it is. Now, I am certainly not genetically blessed, but I've worked with what I've got and I've built the physique I have. Now, I'm not going to show you that right now, but in the future, in future videos, I certainly will. Because I don't know where this series is going to end up, but I do know that I have some clear fitness, financial, and freedom related goals that I will be pursuing over the next few months. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Now, this is not vanity. This is not trying to Skype. I, I firmly believe that I've got more to offer YouTube and I've got more to offer this channel and my subscribers and um, and we're all gonna make it guys we're all gonna fucking make it so I'm sitting here in my own house I bought it I bought it last year at the age of 25 I bought my first house at the age of 25 now personally it seems to me that people around my age you know, my circle of friends, peers at work, even people older than me, they, they can't seem to grasp the notion of looking 5, 10, 15, even 20 years in advance as far as investments go, as far as, you know, your career path, as far as planning. Because without planning, things just don't happen like that. I mean, to... To set up a, a multi-million dollar property portfolio, which is my is my goal. That's my financial goal, is to set up a financially free and independent life where I have a passive income from a 
property portfolio. So then when I reach a certain amount of passive income, I can quit my job, I can effectively retire and spend quality time with my family, my friends, my kids and everything that comes in the future because there's one thing that I don't want to do um, to, to a future wife or a future family and that is bring them into a world where you worry about money all the time. You know, even my parents, um, they, they instilled some really, really good values, really, really good financial values in me. But of course, um, as with a lot of sort of people from that generation, uh, there wasn't much emphasis on, you know, it's, there's, it, it's a mediocre feel. It's a mediocre feel. People are happy. People are content in their lives at, at the moment. You know, people are comfortable. And, um, and that's not me. That's not me. You know, I've got, I've got, I've got ambitions. I'm an average guy with above average ambitions. I've always said that if I want something, I'm, I'm going to get it and I will find a fucking way. All right. So <sighs> age 25 right now, who knows what's in the future? But there is some exciting stuff coming up and um, I'm going to, I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. So, you know, feel free to, uh, feel free to like the video, um, subscribe if you haven't. Um, my YouTube journey has been going for just over two years now, probably actually just over three years. And my first ever video was actually a rugby tutorial video. So I'm a huge fan of rugby, huge fan of rugby league, um, all sports actually. Sport has been a huge part of my life. And that's probably what sort of pushed me into getting into the fitness industry was the fact that I was always good at sport, but I never had the actual physique to back it up. You know what I mean? So I'll be playing sports with all these fellas and, you know, I remember a few, a couple of physiques in particular at age, when I was probably age about 16, 17 that I saw and I was like, wow, you know, wow, I want to look like that. Like, I didn't even know what aesthetic meant. Like this is before Ziz, this is before all of that shit. Um, Ziz was certainly not my uh, inspiration to get into training, I'll say that. I know he was an inspiration to a lot of people and I mean, watching his videos now, he's he's a fucking good cunt, like he's funny. And um, I can certainly understand where people get their motivation from, but he certainly wasn't. One person that has inspired me and he would probably be like my version of Ziz is um, Greg Plitt. Now, if you guys don't know who Greg Plitt is, I would recommend looking up uh, some of his videos, some of his motivational videos. Um, I, I competed in uh, the IFBB and in the WBFF as a men's physique athlete and a fitness model competitor last year. And I'll tell you what, there was one guy who I listened to day in, day out while I was prepping. Well, you know, those really, really tough days, you know, you've got no energy. Um, you're just feeling like shit and I'd put my headphones in my ears with Greg Plitt and he'd get me going and um, the fact that he died uh, you know was it makes him sort of like my Ziz you know um, I actually only found out about him just after he died well actually no I I knew about him but I never really listened to his stuff until I found out that he passed away and then I started listening to his stuff and it really really struck a chord with me so that was awesome it's really inspired me. Um, so, all right, this is the opening video. Okay, there's two things, there's two specific things that are going to be happening within the next two months that I want to bring you guys along for the ride for, and I want to motivate myself through making this video, etc., etc. And they are, I am officially going to get in the best shape of my fucking life. I'm going to get in the best shape of my life. I've said it many, many times before. Even when I competed, I probably had no business being up there because I, I was not lean enough. I wasn't. I remember seeing this guy beside me. He said to he like, I was, I was backstage by myself. This guy was covered up the entire time. I, I started pumping up and he said to his coach, he'd been pumping up. He said to his coach, you think I'm ready coach? Should I take, should I take the top off? And the coach is like, well, do you feel ready? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, well, this is a bit serious. You know, what's he going to look like? He took off his fucking top and I was 
blown away. I, I looked at him, I said, yeah, you're ready. <laughs> it was absolutely insane. I've never seen physiques like that in person in my entire life. And so from that day, I thought, well, there's no business me being back here competing again unless I look something like that. So I do want to compete again. I, I know that being a natural athlete, uh, you're not going to get the best gains possible unless you really give yourself a good year, two years, even more in a calorie surplus. Um, but the yeah the um, the will and the and the, the thing in the back of my head is just too strong. I can't I can't bulk. I have to I have to shred again. I have to do it. I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. I'm keen to crack into cardio. I'm keen to be dieting. You know, I, I'm not keen to be eating a shitload at the moment. Um, it's hot here in Alice Springs, so I think the time has come. Um, it's it's March 14th, 2016. Monday, March 14th, 2016. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to head to the gym. We're going to smash, smash out a workout. The way I train, I, you know... I go in there by feel. I always have. I don't have a specific diary. I wish I did. I wish I did have a diary that had all my sets, all my reps, everything, so I could look back at it. But basically, you know, I'm not that kind of guy. As far as dieting goes, I'm a flexible dieter. Um, I will have sugar in my diet. I will have carbs in my diet. I will have fats in my diet. But in saying that, I um, I stick to the sort of if it fits your macros principle that. Probably 70% of my food is from clean, wholesome, you know, whole food sources, um, nothing processed. And then, you know, 30, 25, maybe 30% is from processed, basically shit foods that, you know, you'd find in the ice cream aisle or the lolly aisle or, you know, whatever. It's basically shit food. Okay. So my dieting principles, my training principles have always been like that. Um, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to be really, really strict, but I do know what, what is necessary to lose body fat um, and maintain muscle. And that is, that's, that's my goal over the next few months. So I, uh, I guess that's it. Now, financial, financial goals are as a different kettle of fish completely. And I have something really, really exciting that's happening in my life financially like financial wise and um, I'm just in the process of negotiating at the moment and yeah I won't say too much else but it's very exciting for me because obviously I have that vision of um, of retiring probably you know by age 40 if possible <laughs> um, and and this is going to be the first step on my road to retiring at 40 so yeah you guys are coming along for the ride who knows, man, who knows? YouTube will probably be fucking extinct by the time I'm 40. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Because I, I want to help as many people as possible in as many ways as possible. So that's my vision. And that's what I want to do. So anyways, before I get... Fuck, man. How long have I talked for? Holy shit, 13 minutes. All right, so I hope I haven't bored you guys off. Um, I hope, I hope you're excited. I hope, uh, I hope I can continue these going. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad with starting series. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm always starting them and feeling like people aren't appreciate, people aren't liking what I'm putting out. I'm not getting too many views, not not getting too many likes, um, and then I'll stop. But this one. I'm determined and I'm actually not going to release them for a few a few weeks so this episode will not be coming out today on the 14th of March it will probably be coming out in about a month's time and then hopefully I'll have the ball rolling by then and um, and we'll continue rolling out these episodes and hopefully you can continue enjoying them and uh, yeah it's gonna be a little bit different because I'm I'm gonna be a month behind but I want to make these episodes cool, I want to make them informative, I want to have good content, and um, and I want to make a good go of this YouTube thing, because there's been times, there's been times when I've thought, fuck this, and I've gone and deleted a couple of videos thinking I'm going to go through my whole 
library and delete every single one. And, um, and I don't in the end. And I'm glad I haven't because I'm here now and uh, we're about to embark on a cool journey. So thank you again. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want to do. But uh, I will be hitting the gym in about half an hour. And I'm actually going to get a bit of footage. Um, I'm going to make up a pre-workout and then we will be off. And uh, we'll see how I'm looking in the gym and some good lighting. And uh, that will be a starting point for my physique at least. So once again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.